Hi everyone, welcome again. Today we'll be exploring the basics of the sans serif style. Sans serif tends to give off a clean and modern vibe. It is highly geometric and has consistent strokes. Let's go ahead and get started. So to start us off, I just want to show you what the setup is like today. You'll need a flat, hard surface. Get out your trusty pen or pencil. You'll also need some handouts that I'll link down below. If you don't have access to a printer, that's totally fine. You can still follow along using a normal lined notebook too. We can't just dive into letters right away. Before that, we got a warm up. First, starting off with a vertical line from top to bottom. All right, now let's go ahead and do the reverse from bottom to top. Between the two, place a star next to which set looks more uniform than the other. Let's do a horizontal line. Let's now do the forward slash. And now the backslash. Let's try to do full on circles. Okay, and let's split these circles into halves. So we use all of these shapes that we drew in some way to form each of the letters in the alphabet. For example, A, B, and C are just a combination of all of these shapes. As we begin to form the letters, I want you to apply your starred methods to write out each of the letters. Now let's move on to the actual alphabet for capital letters. I want you to notice how the alphabet is not only made up of the shapes we drew on the last page, but as whole letters, they too are like shapes. Um, we see a triangle, such as in the letter A or V. We see squares, like in the letters E or T. Or we see circles like O or Q. So let's try to keep that in mind when we go about trying to make our letters. You'll see that the page has an extra line we didn't talk about last time the cap height. You may have guessed, but this cap height is where the height of the capital letters will reach. Looking at our sheet, it may be a little hard to tell, but there are some letters that extend beyond the cap height or beyond the baseline. This is to compensate for the optical tricks our eyes play on us. For example, we need to push up the tip of the A and lower the bottom of the V in order for these letters to appear consistent with the others. Same thing for the circle type of shapes like O or Q. The tops and bottoms of these letters have to go slightly over the normal lines. Another adjustment that we have to make for our eyes is to shorten some of the legs of our letters, such as E and F. With a slightly shorter leg, it appears more balanced than if we fill it in all the way. So moving on, let's go ahead and get started with our uppercase practice. Take your time, there's no need to rush. Now this part is optional, but if you have a sharpie or marker, you might want to try experimenting to get some extra practice with the shapes, and also to see how it feels like with a different tip. Okay, now moving on with our lowercase practice sheet. I'm just gonna finish out our lowercase real quick with some Sharpie. I would highly recommend checking out sites like DaFont or Google Fonts for other sans serif font types that you can draw inspiration from. Okay, let's see our weekly challenge. Using your blank piece of paper, I want you to write out your favorite verse and its reference with sans serif handwriting. Post a picture in the channel once you're done. Thanks for joining us today. Tune in next week to get a head start on learning other styles of sans serif like block lettering.